The next call that's going to be demonstrated on the video is the bull grunt, and it's just short little grunts, and it's the moose communicating, saying, I am here, I hear you, I know you're out there, and welcome to my area. It's nothing more than that. It's sometimes thought of as a challenge call, it most definitely is not, and I will demonstrate the challenge call a little later on. <laughs> The next type of bull call is a little louder, a little more vocal, just a little bit more excited. And it's just saying, I hear you, I'm in the area, you could come over to me. He knows there's a cow in the area and he's interested. If you hear this response or this call, you know that he may be interested. The third one you're going to hear of the bull call is a little more vigorous, it's a little faster pace, and when you're making that call, uh, you want, because you want to make these same bull calls, whether you hear them or you're making them yourself, it could be a form of a challenge to another moose. They're not challenge calls per se, but they are a form of saying, well now, like the bull thinks there's another bull in the area and he has some competition. But the next call is a little more faster paced, and when you're making that call, or when you do hear it, think of it as a little grunt with every step that the moose takes as he's coming through the bush. And that's how the timing works out on that call. For every moose hunter, I think we've all experienced it, and if you haven't, you will someday, that you'll have a moose come out and they'll stay just inside the bush line or just out of range, and nothing that you can do seems to bring them any closer. They're just that little bit tentativeness or afraid to, to come right out into the open. The one thing that will bring them out, it's a form of communication between a cow and a bull, both the cow and bull will make this sound and you can use it to attract one or the other and that's the exhalation and inhalation of air it's very very heavy you have to really breathe deep and blow out deeply and make that same sound that the moose would make and this is basically if you hear that sound in the bush or if you make it and you get that sound in response be ready you'll be firing very soon The last vocal call is the bull challenge call, and I have heard this in the wild. I don't know how easy it is to, to demonstrate. I will try to demonstrate to you, and you'll see it in the video. The only thing I can think of to explain it is compare it to a car horn. Somebody hitting a car horn every couple of seconds, but that would last anywhere up to a minute. And when a, a bull makes that sound, that's a true challenge. That's the... the uh, the main bull in the area is saying, I'm here, you don't belong here, and you have to get out. This is the real challenge call if you are lucky enough to hear it. It really is something to experience. That wraps up all of the moose calls, both vocal and non-vocal. You want to put these calls to use for yourself. You don't have to use them all at once. You can switch back and forth. As I demonstrated, there's different types of horns. And if you forget your horn for the day, don't worry about just using your bare hands. Just print your nose and put your hands up in a cup shape 
and make the calls and I've called many a moose in just doing that whether it's I've forgotten to call back at camp or too lazy to carry a big call in either way don't be afraid to call a lot of people think oh I can't call I'm not even going to try but for every moose there's a different vocalization they all sound different just like humans and there's no reason why you shouldn't give a call or even use the non-vocal calls if you want to get up and walk around don't worry about it use that to your advantage and that will help with bringing in the curious moose so good luck with your hunting be safe and have a good hunt